Hiya folks, Strategic Wolf here and welcome back to another Gwent Deck Guide. Today I have a fantastic, really versatile, really fun shield wall witcher list for you with four possible finishers. Now before we jump into it, I'm going to ask you to number one, leave a like, number two, subscribe, and number three and four, do go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both links are in the description of this video. All right? Brilliant. Great stuff. Thank you. Now, let's jump into this deck. I want to talk you through it, tell you why it's so much fun, tell you why it's so versatile, and tell you about the four possible finishers. King Ragnar, probably our biggest finisher, folks, okay? Now, this, when I say finisher, I don't necessarily mean in round three. This can be a round one finisher. But King Ragnar is probably our biggest. This card is boosting for 20 plus points every single game. We have three shields from the shield wall leader ability and also all the shields from the griffin witcher adepts okay of course with the Keldar who we have in this list pump out lots and lots of witcher students change them all into griffin witcher adepts this card removes all the shields blowing bubbles for massive points folks our second big finisher is leo okay boosting self by one for every witcher you control also counts himself as well so like i see it with the ragnar all the witchers pumped out from kelder contribute to this all the witchers just in our deck this card usually lands at between 10 to 15 is where this card usually comes down it's very nice indeed at number three we have vesemir mentor deploy boost all witchers on the board by one adrenaline four also boost witchers in your hand and deck now this card is primarily a carryover card but the great thing about this list and why it's so versatile is that if we miss Vesemir Mentor, we don't have to waste Geralt Quen, you know, to tutor him out, okay? Vesemir Mentor can be used as a big finisher because all the Witcher students that Keldor pumps out, whether you have a Griffin Witcher adept to transform them all into adepts or not, if they even just remain students, they're all still Witchers. So if you draw Vesemir in a long round three, play him as your final card he's going to boost all the witches on the board okay that's as many witcher students as possible that's still big points that's still a big finisher and this card will play for 10 15 possibly even 20 points okay it's fantastic and last but not least erland of larvik now like vesemir mentor this is primarily another carryover card you want to play this card early however if you don't draw him, it doesn't matter. You don't have to waste your Geralt Quayne to get this card out in round one. Play him in round three. Play him at Adrenaline three to gain immunity. Boosting all units in deck and then removing all the boosts the next turn. Also, if you have successfully played Vesemir Mentor in round one or round two, the Witchers that are still in your deck will already have a boost. So Erland actually removes two boosts from the Witchers. So this card, Immune, can boost for anything between five to ten which is nothing to sneeze at in a short round three very nice indeed now let's jump in to the rest of this list so we've talked about the four different finishers folks we have amphibious assault we have gerald quen those are our two tutors we have kelder for pumping out lots and lots of witcher students now however here's a lovely thing with just the witchers that we have in our deck we can uh, use our target practices to get witcher students early on so we have a witcher adept on the board we get two students from target practice if we play our carryover cards in round one our vesemir mentor our erland we can also transform these we don't lose any points because they're already four strength and then they get a shield because they're now transformed into an adept so then ragnar can be played round one ragnar does not have to be your finisher it can be your round one finisher and then leo can be your round three finisher with all the students pumped out by Kelder, regardless of whether you have another adept in round three to transform all these into adepts it doesn't matter as long as you have lots and lots of witchers on the board leo boosts so that's why this deck is just so so versatile and so fun so fun to play and feels so fresh because no game is the same all the games are completely different because there's no real win con in this because you can play your cards at any point you can play ragnar in round three you can play him in round one you can play leo in round one play him in round three 
it doesn't really matter. There's just so much to this list. And of course, we also have our Witcher Trio, which helps the Leo. Okay, I mean, a short round three, if, if you're, if you're, if you're three cards in a short round three, or let's just say, a oh, Griffin Witcher, Geralt Quayen, to pull out the Witcher Trio, and then Leo, that's a lot of points. A lot of points. All right, because these will all have been boosted if you've already played Vesemir Mentor in round one. And your Ireland. It's a lot of points. All right, we have Kerr for the extra boost. Okay, also to get us either Griffin Witcher or another Griffin Witcher Adept. Margarita's in here for a lock. A Witcher Mentor, one of these, just to fix our hand if we do end up with two of these trio in a, in a, in a round three situation. What else? Artificer for another shield. Right of his Royal Guard, lovely opening card. And a Kedwani Knight to either stop a bleed, punish a bleed, you know. You know how this card works. It's lovely when playing with AA. But yeah, folks, that's it. This deck is just so much fun. I had a blast. So yeah, hope you enjoy the highlights. Okay. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me Twitter and Instagram. On Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you again real soon. Okay, imposter. That's There'll be nothing to pick frustrating. Up when I'm done with you. Imposter is going to be very annoying for us. Isn't it? Imposter will be so annoying. Have the Griffin Witcher for the Crystal Skull. Mauler. I don't know. That's better. Always our opening play. We're always happy for a, a long round one. We have our veiled Griffin Witcher because once we get to Adrenaline three, it just pops off. Three random damage. Oh wow! Okay, I like that. I do like that a lot. I do like that a lot. Climbing is the easy bit. Getting down is another matter. I'm just going to hit that just because I know it's a waste of time, but just I don't like seeing the tick or the, the, the I like to use it. <laughs> I just don't like seeing the eight times one symbol. Okay. At least I have a reasonable target. Nice dead princesses, and we get one. On his streakers. Okay. We also have our Ireland, and we do also have our Vesemir Mentor when we get to that point in time. Emissary. A shame I have Emissary is quite irritating in fairness. Emissary is quite irritating. Ireland next, and then Vesemir Mentor will be at Adrenaline 4. Germain. I don't know what I don't know what this is. Do you think we should kill some cows? Would that be sensible to kill some cows? I think it might be. Suffering? Our suffering binds us. Retrieve the bolt. No. So what could John obviously has to get us our AA, of course. And secures it for us for round two. But are we going to even AA four at this juncture? I'm no mage. Oh, wow. Okay. I like that. Okay. Well, I now know what we're going to AA for. We're going to AA four. Oh, 
margarita. I'm glad we helped. I love to see it. Now that I know his game plan. He's going to kill the cow next turn, you see, so it doesn't absorb the th random three damage. No! No! Ah! No! Just a cool deck, I like it. It's a cool deck. The shield protected us there. Uh what am I gonna go for? Am I gonna go for Wonders of projectiles and ranged weaponry. Might even go Rogner this. Go short round witchers. Your continued struggle has grown amusing. I wonder if there's a struggle, mate, but whatever. Quinn is one of our best tutors. Yes, nothing quite like a nice messy dice. Well, that's fine. That is fine. Playing a Darren to take a round and he didn't even get any value from a Darren. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. I do not mind that at all. Getting any better than this. Good one to hit, good one to hit. This guy's got all the old gears, huh? Very cool. Very cool deck, I do like it. I do like it. Very cool deck. Artorius. Copy that. What is truth? And he keeps his leader, or is he used leader in this as well for the double pop pop? He could really low roll here and hit the hit the one. The bolt softens him up. So finishes him up. Okay, so he did kind of low roll. So 
I go Witchers. Three nine, three nine is twelve. I'll have to I have to go Witcher Trio. Which is quite sad. I do have to go Witcher Trio here. It's a lot of my it's a lot of my uh, a lot of my points. A lot of my points. If we find Kelder, we could be sweet. Kelder and Leo. Now that his um, leader is gone. So we could have a Damien, I suppose. Is that what I want to see? Is that what I want to see? That's more what I want to see, but... Oh shit. No Kelder. I love that premium. I think it's so cool. I know my face is in the road. And it, poof, it blows up in his face. Not blows up in his face, but like sparks in his face. But yeah. I'm enjoying this deck. Really enjoying it. Menno for assassination actually is brilliant here. Oh, Tourney Jai's still dead. That's the same thing. Doesn't kill it though, but still pretty good. So this is a uh, eight points. Eight points. That's a lot of points. That's twelve points, is it? Stuart Denethor. Oh, cool. I like the name, dude. I like the name. GG's. Overwhelming hunger. Ooh. You best yield now. Is this Vi? V, Vi, however you wish to pronounce it. Oh, we're on blue coin, which is interesting. We have our Griffin Witcher. Put this away. We have... We basically have two uh, target practices. We don't want two of these. Do we really want that? Not particularly. Leo, okay, Leo's good for later on. That's that's okay. Griffin a Witcher. With the Crystal Skull. And the turn, please. Um Larva. Okay, we can set up and kill one of these next turn. That's very good. I had a hammer. I I'd hammer in the morning. And then we're going to go for... Whoa! He's playing all of his larvas. He's going to try and win an even cards here. Careful here, then. Very careful. Uh, so, what do I want to do here? How do I want to stay far enough ahead? Um, thinking we go for the Griffin Witcher. See what he plays. We go for a target practice. Maybe another target practice of John. Vran Warrior. Okay, that's interesting. Don't really have any way of killing that, really. But do I want to try? Or do I want to try? I'm not going to get the Thrive Engines killed now. So I keep weakening, keep weakening them to keep thriving. So 
let's let's aim for the brown warrior and let's yeah let's go for the john thin our deck a little bit just do it on the john 10 26 it looks like a big gap it's not a really a big gap for monsters so we'll just have to wait and see what he plays next Fran warrior she throw kind of stuff perhaps Like we could go Leo this first turn. Or this first round. There's no reason why we can't go Leo. We get another Witcher here. Another Adept as well, if, if need be. This is a little bit sad, right? So later on. We are Ratoist. Cool. Okay. And then the Chimeras will be at Adrenaline as well. That's kind of scary. Do I lock this? That could be worth a lock, right? That could be worth the lock. I believe it's worth the lock. And just hit the round warrior. Another way, I suppose you can transform these, I guess. Alright, 43 to 29. That's looking okay. Play Ireland. He's actually had his adrenaline at the moment but we don't really care about that we have him in round one so we're going to use him for the carryover in this instance succubus I don't have a day to does trigger all the thrives but i'm happy to keep playing because with my um, veiled griffin witcher it's just happy days establish our carryover get another oh I, oh you actually can't because he's now immune. Oh, that's interesting. I learned something new. Oh, we finally killed the Vran Warrior. There we go. Mission accomplished. We won the game. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So Leo boosts for for six because he counts himself. We could get something else from Care Saren, but that's a little bit much i do believe we might just get it here 34 to 47 if he's playing a bit of a like Vran succubus kind of deck he mightn't have any big he mightn't have like a goliath you know a girl and he mightn't have big units there's the plague maiden oh, yes. but he doesn't use the plague maiden he doesn't use a leader. Do I slam the Leo or do I pass? Before, well, he might hit armor. Potentially it could be 41 to 47, potentially. Do I go for the extra Witcher? What would I, what would I go for? What would I go for? An extra Griffin Witcher. Or let's go Leo now. Let's just go Leo, I think. My recipe says, Cut the apples like so. Let's hit this because he might you know it'll lose a point for him if he consumes it. <clears throat> yeah, it hits the army, you see, so. Probably have to pass next turn, I dare say. Bargeist. This is cool, it's like a, a beastie kind of kind of thing. I have a pretty good chance of getting the full 3 damage here, don't I? So 10 points ahead, 47 to 50. Sorry, to 47 to 57. Yeah, let's pass here, I think. Full leader retain. Oh yeah, we get the full 3 points, absolutely. You might actually have 10 or 11 points. Over dominant. Making room. There's the Chimera. So yeah, passing was definitely the right option there. 
I'm happy with another. I'm happy with a long round three. Well, a longish round three. Yeah. Good cards to get. We get assault as well. We could see Yennefer of Vengerberg in this list, actually. Might try and short short round me. To owe me, possibly. Nope. So do I go for this? Go for the I go for the location because that's an extra point. So just yeah, just go. Add it. We get the extra three points. Hopefully we don't draw our Witcher trio. But if we do draw them, then they're easy mulligans. Got the kid Wenny Knight still in, in there as well. Uh, so that's the thing about this deck is that it's got a few things to mulligan away. Like, oh, 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 okay. No, not not bad actually for second last card. Actually, not bad at all. Um. Just start slow, I guess. We're going to assault for the Ragnar. So there's no point in playing Kelder too early, making him a target. Well, that's pretty good, in fairness. It's pretty good. Let's do this. If the king demands ahead, I'll give him yours. We also have the... Um, Witcher trio to um, transform as well, actually. Haunt, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do this before I forget about it. Let's do it on Vesemir. Gonna play the S. Yes no, gonna play the. Gerald Quinn next for Kelder. Doll do lock. Oh. First Succubus. He has one in graveyard. That's a death wish which triggers haunt us, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Interesting deck. We are uh, haunty kind of stuff. Manticore. I haven't seen Manticore in a long time. Kelder with the shield. Then we can transform Geralt Quen for an extra point. Play the Eskil next. I wonder what, what way it would be more points. Uh, We're not done if you can still walk. No, probably Ragnar was the last card, probably the best way of doing it. Probably. Silence. We have a bit of catching up to do here. Oh, Adrenaline 3 don't gain Doomed. Oh. I think this guy actually figured out how to make sure. Succubus work. Hey, I can see Care Seren from here. The windmill. The sticks spin around and smash you. 
We have three shields. Gonna get the extra student off the uh, assault because the resupply. Do not seize this one. Ooh, that's okay. We still get the shield as well. That's, just, that's all that matters to me at this point is the shield. Uh, so we're gonna play this. Play Vasimir Mantor. It's a close game, I mean, you know, very close. Move the highest power unit. Gloste, okay. Right, let's get these shields down. One, two, three. Play the Ragnar. <laughs> Blowing bubbles, folks. Blowing bubbles. 66 to 99. Is Heat we have his last card? Could be. Reset. Not enough, though, is it? Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. 